we have to find a way to get the professionals and the young people into the same space. How do we do that? Well, hello from Wrexham, not so sunny Wrexham. That's pouring rain. Whatever happened to the sunshine? Well, hopefully that's a sign that the planet is not yet quite ready to burn up. I've been at a very interesting event today, working with Wales Council for Voluntary Action. Um, it was a showcase for young volunteers. And one of the things we did in that event was we had an interesting discussion about how you can harness young people and organise them on social media and the fact that quite a few organisations were now trying to use Facebook to do that but meeting resistance from the young people because the young people don't want to use Facebook. It's been a well documented thing that young people have gravitated away from Facebook because it's been taken over by the oldies. So, but the issue was that and then the young people want to use Instagram and Snapchat. Now, I think I don't really see how you can use those platforms to organise people beyond rallying around a hashtag. But also we were talking about using WhatsApp and there's a big issue with using WhatsApp for professional organisations in the sector through, because of what they perceive to be safeguarding issues. And I suppose it's twofold really. One is that the professionals don't want to use their own personal phones to engage with young people or feel it's not appropriate or maybe have regulations in place that stop that from happening. And the other thing is that uh, it's a little bit out of their control. So it seems to me, as a train comes in, it seems that um, there's a bit of an impasse here and it's one of those classic things that um, professionals are in one sphere and the young people they are working with are in a completely different sphere, in a different platform. So how do we square that one? So what I want to know is, are there any youth workers, people engaged with the young people, successfully using, let's say WhatsApp, to engage the young people? What are the issues? What are the safeguarding issues? What are the problems that you've found? Um, I think we have to overcome this one. Um, we have to find a way to get the professionals and the young people into the same space. How do we do that?